okay, we got an issue. Some um, obvious scumbag has just opened a case against these base two packs that just sold uh, like more than a week ago online, which is, um, makes me wonder why he got back like a week late because he got them on like the 24th. It's like the 30th. So he's saying that uh, the packs of resale and had resale lines on the back, which the packs uh, came from ZNG. So this is what dude says. He says, are you kidding me, dude? Two of these packs are 100% resale low, like not even completely obvious. Thanks for wasting my time. Understand if you didn't know, but it's so obvious that it's ridiculous. All right. Um. For one, it's another messy sin, but honestly, y'all don't like how this dude is talking. His name, his name's Bill. It's Mafia, and um, he shows the packs that I sent him, which it does have like this kind of like line. Let me know if that's actually factory, okay? For for anyone who's owned base two before, all right. And all the packs I got from the same seller. When he spoke to um, Z and G, he says, "Of course, I don't sell any fake packs. He is trying to scam, or doesn't know about the factory lines um, on the packs. Factory rollers, factory rollers run across the packs all the time. I open tons of boxes, and probably have uh, half the rollers across the back. So I mean." I mean, you let me know, like, um, who's, who's lying, who's telling the truth? You know, um, I don't know, I think the guy's a scumbag. I'm going to see what's going on when I get back to, um, wherever my key was supposed to. Because I, I, I sent another response to, um, both of them, and, you know, this shit, if it, if it keeps, you know, like, if it keeps panning out like this, I'm going to have to end up, like, completely selling out the vintage pack market. If you got scumbags like this, if this is actually roller lines and shit. So, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, yeah.